Assalamu alaikum friends I am your tax host and dost Anthony Williams and you are watching tax dosti reporting tax dosti reporting videos are videos about current news that is happening in Pakistan and about Pakistan and related to taxation and other legal aspects so uh, in the previous uh, videos we have been talking about the uh, money that is stashed away in UAE in this video we are talking about the president of pakistan and the reason we are talking about it, him is that uh, today is the 4th of uh, september 2018 and the 13th president of pakistan is being appointed uh, by the national assembly senate and uh, provincial assemblies and we want to talk tax dosti wants to talk about that to resolve all the tax problems of pakistan and for that matter every problem of pakistan we need a president of pakistan mr arif alvi saab has been nominated by the tarike saaf as candidate for president and basically uh, uh, the prime minister imran khan has entrusted this position to him what this video is trying to tell you is that every where that you hear on print in a read in print media or hear on television radio or internet they are saying that president of pakistan the position of president of pakistan is a ceremonial position it is just a figure head and uh, arif alvi is well suited for it and, uh, and for that matter anyone can fill Uh, that position and the previous 12 presidents have been just that they have been just figureheads presidents but tax dosti video is telling you that no the president of pakistan is a very important position and why because the nation state of pakistan needs a personality in the president house of pakistan which will unite the nation which will give strength empower 220 million pakistanis so so far the presidents that have been have not done this but we need a president and in pakistan it's all about the prime minister and other people but it's time that we understand that the constitution of pakistan that is why uh, we are not taking today any news we are just talking about the constitution of the islamic republic of pakistan 1973 and the powers of the president we'll only be discussing a few powers to illustrate the fact that as soon as we have a strong intelligent president in the house of president of pakistan we can uh, be sure that pakistan's problem will be solved otherwise we'll have we have this provincialism or we have uh, people who belong to one party and having one thought or one kind of thinking and so we don't get get a collective thinking on all these problems which need so powers of the president the first thing uh, the first power is the president shall have power to grant pardon deprive passed by any court which means that this shows that the president is directly connected to you and me to 220 million pakistanis because he can in special case pardon our sentence given to us by any court and the point here is that the president is an integral part of our family because any problem that comes to us to us or our family members he has the ability to see through that and give us respite another power is the prime minister will keep the president informed about internal and foreign policies as well as legislative proposals there is a lot of talk in the new pakistan naya pakistan mein ke we need a lot of upgrade of our criminal civil taxation financial rules who will do that the prime minister cabinet and the national assembly but the president has a key role 
to see that all the policies he will have a bird's eye view of all the policies that are being made of all the laws that are being made and he can give valuable input if he has that experience if he is connected to 220 million people what a great opportunity to bring so many great minds of the prime minister cabinet national assembly experts committees together and then see them solve the most important problems like over taxation water issues dams etc so this is very important power and function of the president the president may address either house or both houses together this is something that should be so special and given so much priority that the president should prepare at least one month before giving his address to both houses he can uh, unify both the houses he can bring together different political parties different interest groups and he can really uh, after all he's getting the audience of so many important people his 30 minute one hour or two hour speech can play wonders just as Imran Khan made a very good inaugural speech and other speeches that he has made. So the president through his words can bind the whole nation together. The president may also dissolve the National Assembly. This um, uh, clause, this power has been abused, misused or used in the past also and we are not in tax those three were not making any judgments i am just saying that this uh, clause shows this article shows that how closely the president should be working with the national assembly not only the cabinet and the prime minister and the opposition but with the national assembly all the 335 350 members of the national assemblies including women minorities and he should have one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. After all, they represent the entire 220 million uh, Pakistanis uh, uh, of Pakistan. And uh, president should take these relationships to a new height within five years. After all, the, he is not burdened with the executive. He has the time and the luxury to cultivate these relations and he should have the personality the strength and the intelligence so this because if he's uh, he has the power to dissolve it he also has the power to empower it next is the president may accept when the senate or national assembly is in session he can make laws in the form of ordinance which means that the nation can rely on him or her any time they need a legal framework, a law, a rule to guide them out of any emergency or any normal circumstances, he should have a legal mind to give to this nation and so that, so that this nation can strive forward uh, with other nations. Um, uh, we have just discussed few powers of the president but the main purpose to discuss is that he is a unifying force for us 220 million Pakistanis and if we come together then definitely the uh, we can easily solve our tax and financial problems. So thank you friends for watching this tax dosti video. I am your tax dost and your tax host Anthony Williams. Tax Dosti means be a better Pakistani, be a tax filer. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube channel. Uh, you can email me, call us and definitely we'll be sharing every day almost uh, news related to uh, taxation, financial matters so that the news become more transparent or more easy for you to understand and more importantly for you to understand what effects it has. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a nice day.